good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine very good students okay shall we start the class okay get ready uh, with your notebook your accountancy notebook okay and uh, i hope you remember the previous uh, classes about the introduction of accounting and the introduction i have explained to you then the evolution of accounting how it came into existence okay how it was evolved when uh, in the history it was evolved the accounting okay that we have studied and in the yesterday's um, that the day before yesterday's uh, class the evening intercession class uh, i have taught them okay only three students have attended uh, nobody else okay so once again i will explain that one. okay there in the evolution we have studied uh, about that uh, in the that kautilya he in his uh, book artha shastra this accounting has uh, uh, we could uh, trace out some of the accounting procedure okay but after this one in 1492 uh, in 15th century one uh, italian merchant called luca pascioli he introduced the double entry system in the world double entry system means you will learn in future that means we will enter both the aspect that means the debit aspect and the credit aspect of a transaction will be recorded okay that one was introduced in the 15th century then after two centuries only the large scale production came into existence that means the industrial revolution in european countries uh, it was developed okay so it took place the, the industrial revolution in that one they have produced the goods in large quantity large scale production came into existence so that time only they realized the importance of accounting because they were not able to remember all the Uh, that production and sales because it was in large scale if it is very less they can keep in memory isn't it but if it is on large scale it, they found it very difficult so that time only this accounting has been introduced it has developed okay that time they have prepared the uh, they have uh, followed the financial accounting that means they want to find out whether they have earned any profit or loss okay whether they have earned profit or loss so they prepared this trading and profit and loss account then to uh, find out their financial position they have prepared the balance sheet okay so that is called the financial account then along with this one to price the product they have to uh, find out the cost what is the total cost of the product only then they can price the product isn't it what is the price cost plus profit some profit they will add okay so in order to calculate the in order to fix the price of the product this accounting came into existence cost accounting okay that will find out the cost then the next accounting is the management accounting this accounting came into existence only in the 20th century the last century okay because the um, because they might have appointed many managerial experts to manage the business so with the help of the financial accounting and cost accounting they will analyze and why that difference what is the fixed cost what is the variable cost okay and they will uh, they will analyze and they will give interpretation that means the explanation why there is increase in cost or uh, increase in expenses why there is a reduction in profit okay for that purpose this management accounting has been evolved okay so after this in this century the 21st century only the social responsibility accounting and human resource accounting came into existence this one be social responsibility because each and every organization will be established in the midst of a society isn't it there uh, because the employed human human resources are there maybe uh, who are the human beings all the employees maybe the skilled employees unskilled employees 
and the managerial employees then the customers then creditors then bank they are also the human beings only are dealing isn't it then the public okay as a whole and the society where it is situated so that the each organization has some responsibilities towards this society or to for the human resource okay so that accounting also came into existence only in this century 21st century okay that was the evolution of accounting now we will learn the meaning of accounting okay what is the meaning of accounting so what is it accounting is the systematic process okay systematic process of identifying that means they will identify the transactions okay and they will measure that means the what is the amount they will write okay that is identifying measuring and they will record in the journal entries okay this one the third lesson you will learn recording then after recording in the journal entries they will classify in the ledger accounts okay that is called classifying they will prepare the ledger accounts that is called classifying then summarizing the balances of the ledger accounts will be posted they will be written in the summary as trial balance that is summarizing then along with this one with the uh, this trial balance they will prepare the trading and profit and loss account to find out the profit Uh, or loss okay then the financial position they will ascertain with the help of balance sheet okay the financial position how much is the assets how much is the liabilities that is everything together called the summaries then that accounts will be given to the management they will interpret interpreting okay they thought in they will analyze and they will interpret and that one along with the interpretation their report their summary this uh, financial statement along with the manager's report it will be sent to the various users that means communicating okay what they will communicate the financial information the financial information not the uh, quality information okay only the financial what is the finance what is the profit what is the purchase what is the sale so the financial information is sent to the users okay so it is accounting is a systematic process okay that meaning will be meaning is given in the notes itself okay i will show to you at the end of this class so from this we can uh, analyze what they do they what is the meaning of accounting so the resources available what are the resources available they will calculate and how these resources are employed okay that is another one. next step okay how the it is employed whether it is employed whether it is performed well because if it is performed well they will get the profit or it will, it will be a plus okay the resources available and how it has been employed that is with that one they will find out the result that is either profit or loss then one definition definition also i have given in the notes okay one definition is there it is an art of recording okay this definition is given by the american institute of certified public accountants okay accounting is an art of recording classifying okay that one first one identifying measuring not given okay that first uh, they will the, the, from the transaction they will record that transaction is omitted okay so definition it accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner okay important manner okay important significant means it is important important matters only will be recorded and in terms of money those transactions will be entered in terms of money only other money non um, that uh, money transactions will not cannot be entered then money 
transactions and events which are which in part or at least of a financial character which can be entered recorded all the transactions and events which can be expressed in terms of money that is the meaning okay and interpreting the results thereof and they will interpret the result means the last one they will uh, they will prepare the financial statement and they will the management will interpret the results okay that is one of the definition another one definition is also there okay american accounting association american accounting association has defined accounting as the process of it is a process that is what we are going to learn in the next video okay process of identifying like the first meaning isn't it identifying measuring together everything together given measuring and communicating measuring means everything coming together that means recording then classifying then summarizing everything together they have given us measure and communicating what they will communicate economic information that means financial information we studied you know that one. economic information to permit informed judgments informed judgments they will judge what how how much is the profit how much is the financial position that one. and judgments and decisions they will decide okay that management interpreting the results there of that one. and decisions by users of the information users you will study in the same lesson who are all will use the the financial information okay not only the owners accounting is the it is a process okay that only one work a series of work continuous work first one identifying then measuring and communicating what economic information for what to permit informed judgments okay for this purpose informed judgments and decisions by whom by the users of the information okay that is the two definition and one meaning okay that i have given in the notes now today's uh, portion is okay very little portion i have taken only one heading okay accounting cycle it is uh, we know that uh, accounting cycle i have explained already uh, it is uh, that process will be carried out at the end of the uh, business isn't it as long as the business is there this accounting uh, preparation of accounting also will continue okay that's why we call it as accounting cycle every year they will enter they will uh, identify the transactions they will measure they will record in the journal entries and they will post them that means preparation of ledger account then the balances of ledger account will be taken to the trial balance then trial balance uh, the items will be used in the preparation of uh, that uh, trading account and the profit and loss account then at last the balance sheet okay so again the balance sheet items that will be the uh, the last date what is the uh, financial position of the concern so the next year that items will be the opening balance and they will prepare the next years then they will continue with again identifying the transaction measuring them then uh, recording them in the journal entries and then posting okay that means classifying okay it will be carried out every year so it is called accounting cycle again and again so we can say accounting is a process i told you it is a process in the definition itself accounting is a process we study okay so many steps are there what are the steps involved in the accounting cycle so just again i have explained many times 
even then now you uh, we will write and uh, see okay the first step is identifying the transactions first one identifying the transactions and journalizing this one you we will learn in the third lesson third lesson is preparation of journal entry okay so identifying the transactions and journalizing i have told you many transactions will take place all the monetary transactions transactions that can be measured in terms of money that is called monetary transaction so they will uh, calculate the amount amount of each transaction for example uh, how much we have purchased on credit or how much we have purchased on cash so it will be we will write ca cash purchases rupees 10000 okay so that if it can if it is measured in terms of money only we can uh, write that we can record them in the books of accounts okay so they will identify first all the transactions okay the transactions so different activities i have taught you already what is the meaning the simple meaning of transaction is activities trade activities business activities purchasing selling okay then for purchasing on credit selling on credit or purchasing on cash or purchasing on uh, selling on cash okay then depositing money into the bank then withdrawing money from the bank or uh, paying expenses different kinds of expenses okay direct expenses indirect expenses then office expenses okay then payment of expenses or receiving income okay then all these will be identified okay then they will uh, journalize journalizing means a journal entry we call that journal entry that i have we, uh, we are going to learn in that lesson only the double entry system double entry system that look up as you only he introduced no double entry system that means we can say for each transaction there will be two aspects we are going to learn in the third lesson all these things okay so that is called one will be debited the other will be credited that is called journalizing preparing journal entries okay journalizing means preparing journal entries for the transaction so one will be debited the other will be credited then second step posting and balancing here after preparing journal entry what we have to do we have to uh, post them in the ledger accounts okay ledger accounts that is called posting and balancing so journal entry will be there so shall we write one journal entry here okay so purchasing for cash okay purchases then we have to write purchases that is one expense isn't it purchase account that are to cash the ten, same 10000 we will have so now we are going to post these two aspects in the ledger both the account we have to post first we have to post in the purchases account purchases account we have to take two pages okay here one page i am using here debited so debit side we have to write to cash then the amount column we have to write 10000 okay either we have to find that we have to post them then cash account will be posted okay cash account for each ledger they will use one page okay so the cash account cash is credited so credit side by purchases account in the amount column we should write 10000 okay this is called posting 
then we may write many items okay here one item here two item three item okay here and here many item will be there then we should add both the that is called balancing okay here okay fifty thousand here five thousand here fifty thousand okay here five thousand okay here forty thousand fifty thousand here it will be the balance okay balance carry down by balance carry down we will write ten thousand then it will be written to balance brought down ten thousand okay so this will be total we will total both the side this side is called debit the other side is called the credit credit side and debit side totals will be added and it will be balanced that balances will be written in the third step that is called the preparation of trial balance okay preparation of trial balance so the trial balance we will write trial balance one statement only one page we will use okay here we enter all the balances from the ledger accounts okay all the ledger account balances will be summarized in a statement that is called we call summary summarizing okay so here purchases account we will write purchases purchases debit okay here debit balance so 10000 cash also will show debit balance only so okay 10000 okay then sales it will come on the credit side so we will prepare the trial balance the total will be same okay the total of the trial balance should get the same amount only then we can uh, that we can conclude that our calculations are correct okay so what is the purpose of preparing this trial balance is to check the arithmetical accuracy this is called arithmetical accuracy we studied already okay the arithmetical accuracy of the accounts are checked with the help of trial balance so okay 20000 20000 okay then we can conclude that our calculations are correct okay that is the third step third step involved in the accounting cycle then the fourth one preparation of trading account then with the help of ledger balances we will prepare the trading account here we will use trading account we have to use two pages okay trading account here each and every step is one one pay one one lesson okay so trading account we will use what is the opening stock what is the purchases okay then all direct expenses this one you have to remember when i am teaching this trading account okay around 11th 12th and 13th lesson okay that time you should remember then credit side we will write the sales then the closing stock we will find out the balance balance will be the gross profit okay if the sales more we will get gross profit if the the purchases more sales less if we will get gross loss okay so from the trading account we will calculate the gross profit okay we will use the direct expenses okay with the purchase and sales difference between sales and purchases we will get the gross profit trading itself meaning what purchasing and selling is it it's that's why purchase sales okay the difference between the purchases and the sales that is called the gross profit so that account that we prepare is called trading account then the next account is called profit and loss account then here also we use both the pages okay profit and loss account here 
here this gross profit will be carried down here by gross profit okay we will write then all the indirect expenses will be written on the debit side all the indirect that means the office expenses administrative expenses okay then selling expenses and distribution expenses all these expenses will be written some that uh, interest on capital in that adjustment will be there okay interest on capital interest on drawings okay here any income indirect income okay interest on interest on uh, capital uh, sorry interest on drawings okay then uh, dividend or rent anything if we receive that will be considered as income and that will be entered on the credit side of the profit and loss account the balance will be the net profit that is the profit for the year if this net profit either net profit or net loss we will get okay so the next step the last step is preparation of balance sheet balance sheet also we will use two pages okay assets this side assets right side here liabilities this one we will prepare for one year but this one on the last date of the year okay that particular date we will prepare what are the value of the asset and what is the value of liabilities we will enter that is called the financial position of the business so financial position of the business can be ascertained from the balance sheet so this is uh, prepared at the end of the financial year okay last date of the financial year so these balances will be written as the opening balance in the next year and they again they will continue the next step the balances of these assets and liabilities will be taken as the opening balances of the next year okay next financial year and with from with that they will continue the next year's transaction that journal entry again next year they will prepare journal entry they will post them in the ledger accounts then they will from the balances of the ledger accounts they will prepare the trial balance and with the help of trial balance again they will prepare trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet okay that in that is the called accounting cycle it will be carried on continuously okay students i have taught you i will show you the notes now okay that the first lesson first one uh, two mark define accounting two definitions given okay first definition institute of certified public accountants then next one american accounting association okay these two definitions you have to Uh, right hand key. Then one three mark meaning of accounting. Okay, since it is three mark, along with the meaning, I have added these three points. Okay, so that one you have to write it down. Then today's portion. What are the steps involved in the process of accounting? Only you have to write all the six headings. Okay, students, I think you will. Uh, Um, learn these question answers okay so be update yourself with the daily lessons okay students and be safe at home thank you students